I want to know where the lines are so I can color outside of them. How about you stop being a little punk and start leaning into the jokes more, Sean? Okay. I'm Sean Akari and this is Akari Time. I took a little break from reading the news because I realized that when I read the news, say goodbye to my entire day. Want a great way to derail productivity? Read the news. That's my motto. Let's open with some uplifting coronavirus news. Americans are warned not to drink hand sanitizer after four die and others go partially blind. When I was a kid, the only way you could go blind was from playing with yourself. Too much. By the way, I have excellent vision. Now, we can't drink the hand sanitizer either. <laughs> Old people putting emotion on display is just the best. They mean it more. No one says I love you like grandma does. And no one says, like Senator Tom Carper. That guy likes to a lot. Good for him. This one's going to piss off a few people. North Koreans are forced to give up their pet dogs to save the country from a meat shortage. Dogs not even that good unless you slow cook it. And how many North Koreans can afford a crock pot? That's just sad. What's for dinner? The canine special? Can, can you pass the salt, please? In the NBA, Pelican fans wanted to see the GOAT, but then settled for a GOAT when they realized they weren't playing the Lakers. There's the GOAT. Unbelievable. Way to not sell out all the fake seats. You've got great eyes. <laughs> a $3.3 million class action settlement has been reached to resolve claims that Mike and Ike and Hot Tamales packaging is deceptive. Their cardboard boxes conceal the fact that the package is underfilled. Just like my boxer briefs. A man with an I'm not drunk bumper sticker was charged with drunk driving. I guess you can't label everything. You're under arrest, buddy. But officer, what about the sticker? 99.999% of the douchebags that drive with the sticker are usually compensating for something else. Plus, you were driving without the driver's side wheel on. You're going to jail, buddy. In football, the Seattle Seahawks cut rookie cornerback Kima Siverand after he was caught trying to sneak a woman into the team's hotel. If it was star quarterback Russell Wilson instead of this guy, then I'm sure he'd get a slap on the hand. They don't want to get called for roughing the passer. Assuming it's his wife, of course. Now, if it's not his wife, then in that case, loss of 15 yards for unsportsmanlike conduct. And Ciara is gonna be pissed. In comedy, Martin Short talks turning 70, Steve Martin, and performing for pure joy. May I say, you look fantastic. And I guess that's the benefit of plastic surgery. I'm a big fan of Short Martin. That's Martin Short and Steve Martin together. A man pleads guilty to taking an upskirt picture of a woman at a gas station. The punishment? Six months in jail and he's barred from possessing a device that can take pictures. So basically any cell phone invented after 2002. In his defense, the defendant claimed he thought the victim was a dude who looks like a lady. Never judge a book by its cover. A Vancouver woman says her SUV was vandalized twice over a parking spot dispute. That's what you get when you park in two spots. The assailant was kind enough to leave the following note. This is your only warning, so pull up and let others park. Gosh, that is so annoying. How many times do you have to explain the difference between your and the contraction of you are? There's sticklers on the parking, but not the grammar I can see. How convenient. SpaceX flew the same Sudi booster for the sixth time in two years. The liftoff took less than a minute. Longer than my performance last night, but equally as intense. Speaking of empty promises, the future of college is online and it's cheaper. Hey, that's great. Unless cheaper means lower quality. In that case, you better double check. It's one of those tricky ones. The coronavirus forced the shift to virtual classes, but their continuation could be beneficial even after the pandemic ends. Now you don't have to pay for facility fees. Yay! But are there any drawbacks? According to one survey, more than 75% of students do not feel they have received a quality learning experience after classrooms closed. It's a little hard to focus with these shitty camera angles and technical difficulties. Liven it up a bit. Make it interesting. I want my professors to have a PhD in TikTok videos to go along with other time wasters like MySpace, Vine videos, and women's studies. 
Each lesson should be on a TikTok. That way we can just pay a Chinese or Russian kid to hack the exam. We don't even have to study. It's so much fun to be dumb. Ignorance really is bliss. Whoever is doing it is gonna lose 50 <laughs> I like to take the good with the bad and mix a nice cocktail of fun. That's all for this week. I'm Sean Akari and this is Akari Time. It's time to tide the turn or turn the tide. Either way, let's make some progress. Or maybe I'm just delusional. <sighs> time will tell. Until next time, have a good one. Tell him pop the bottles cause we got another hit, hit, hit. Wanna go platinum, I'm who you should get, 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 get.